Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the month of August 2016. Uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, this month, I'm still collaborating with Marie Moore. So if you haven't had a chance to check Marie out yet, uh, please do so at the link below and show her some love. Uh, we're trying to help each other grow and uh, hopefully other psychics grow as well on YouTube. Uh, so definitely check her out. Uh, also, a lot of you asked if, uh, if I was going to do the extended readings again this month. Uh, and yes, you can, you can grab the extended readings right here as well if you would like to get an extended reading from me. But let's see what's going on for you this month. So very interesting. <clears throat> um, hmm. Yeah, so you start off with the Three of Clubs. Uh, this has uh, come up a couple times already uh, this month. And uh, this card represents second chances, getting a second chance at something maybe that you thought you lost in, in the past. Uh, it could be love, could be almost anything. You have a lot going on with hobbies as well this month. I'm just... Uh, trying to decide what that means but um this is pretty interesting uh like i said i like this card a lot especially when it comes up because it represents getting a second chance so uh anything you thought maybe you lost in the past you're going to be getting a second chance at that of course you get the uh obligatory uh virgo health card for whatever reason um so i mean you know virgo's been getting this like non-stop from me for a while been getting either the uh three of spades or the five of spades you 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 kind of get one or the other every single week and every single month. So definitely watch your health. Um, sometimes I think for Virgo, the reason it comes up is because you guys are such hard workers that it could have to do with work and you could be working a lot and expending a lot of energy and you need to, in, you need to watch you know, how much energy you're putting out maybe. So definitely get plenty of rest and, and drink plenty of water, all of that. Uh, this card can also represent... <coughs> um, uh, it can represent uh, news, and it can represent upsetting news coming to you. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm not really feeling that. Uh, other than that, it can represent being creative and using your creative, you know, energies and things like that for success this month. So a lot of you might be doing that. Next, you have the Queen of Hearts. Uh, definitely love coming in for you this month. This is a great love card. Uh, I've said it to Virgo before that this could represent a water sign coming in for you. So, um and that's definitely been a message from the past as well. Uh, Virgo, you, you get the most consistent messages, I would say, out of any sign. I don't think any sign gets such consistent messages like you, but uh, very interesting. But definitely could be a water sign coming in for you in a lot of ways. If you already have love or you're not interested, uh, this card just represents uh, being more nurtured in life in general. So, you know, whoever you're with or maybe your friends and things like your family, uh, nurturing you more. So that's, you know, it's just a nice little uh, kind of energy there. Next, you have the Four of Diamonds. Four of Diamonds can represent new jobs, new businesses, and uh, more money coming in. It, definitely more stability as well. I think uh, I think everybody's experiencing more stability and, and it's going to be experiencing more stability coming into their lives. So there's definitely that coming for you. This can also represent an inheritance coming in. And it's also a card of patience. So definitely be patient this month. It says that things are kind of building, uh, but maybe they're just taking a little bit of time to, to get better in your life. Um, but things should be improving in a lot of ways. Uh, I, I also say with this card, while it's a great money card, it's it's a great card for money, uh, it is also a card of watching your spending and watching what you're spending your money on. Again, not it's not a card to be like obsessive about your spending, but it's just definitely a card to, you know, maybe before you buy something expensive, just be like, hey, you know, do I really need this or could I wait? That type of, type of thing there. Uh, next, you have the Five of Clubs. Definitely having to do with hobbies. Uh, you know, I think maybe a lot of you do need to take part in more, maybe more like hobby-based things or just more things that you think are fun in a lot of ways. This is a card of kind of needing to take a break. And, and it's even a card of vacation, going on vacation. And, and uh, you do have a couple travel cards here. Nothing really strong travel-wise, if I'm being honest. I mean, the Four of Diamonds can represent moving. But, uh, you know, still, uh, really, to me, this is a card of hobbies. It's even a card of starting a business around a hobby. Maybe you have something you enjoy and you know you could be starting a business around that but uh, for the most part I would say this represents either needing a hobby or needing to spend more time on your hobby you know kind of like needing that separation um, from like the real world needing to become more um, you know get more into something uh, really and, and this kind of strengthens that message this is the eight of spades eight of spades is not like a bad card to me it's not a good card to me it's just 
kind of in the middle there. It, it can represent working and working really hard. So on one hand, you could be working really hard this month. Again, we already know that you are. Um, but it, it can also represent needing to open up to new things. It can represent needing to open up to more fun and have more fun. Definitely a health card, not to do too much of any one thing type of deal with this card. Um, and it could also represent a time where you need to take a break. So again, I think it kind of backs up that. Just needing to have more things where maybe you can uh, put your mind into more things, like your hobbies. Like I said, you know, when you're doing something you enjoy, you forget about everything else that's going on. So I, th I think a lot of you do need that escape more. You know, some people say it's an escape like a bad thing, but sometimes you need it. Uh, so I think a lot of you do need that this month. And you end with the uh, Six of Diamonds, really good card card of planting seeds for the future and things like that, card of patience. So, um, you know, I, I do think there is a little patient, need, like a need for you to be a little bit patient. Also a card of watching your spending. So definitely watch your spending. I actually think money will be good for you this month, but I would just definitely say, you know, watch... You, you you know watch yourself spending on something very expensive or something like that we have the retrograde at the end of the month so maybe that's why that's coming up you know but uh, i would definitely say watch your spending it might just be a good month to save and maybe that's why it's coming up but uh, anyway thank you so much for watching and enjoy your august